We're here at WISIS 2015. We're looking at information and communications technology, and specifically how that technology is going to help the world move from the Millennium Development Goals we've had until this year uh, to the Sustainable Development Goals of the future. The private sector clearly has a place in that conversation, and joining us from the private sector, indeed from the International Chamber of Commerce, is Joe Alhadef. Uh, Mr Alhadef, how are you? Good, thank you. Now, your specific uh, comments early today were on the subject of emerging technologies. How do emerging technologies help emerging economies? Well, I think too often emerging economies see technology, especially advanced technologies like the Internet of Things or big data or cloud computing as luxuries that they would hope to afford someday. And the answer is there are applications of those technologies today that will help them achieve the goals they need. Actually, all of the sustainable development goals in one way or another are supported by technology. So in agriculture, the use of sensors to determine how much moisture is in the soil, when is the optimal time to harvest, those things can significantly increase food yields, which is one of the essential elements that they're looking at. In healthcare, the ability to use smartphones and even dumb phones in remote health diagnosis as well as treatment become tremendously important for rural health and issues of that nature. And you can go topic by topic by topic and find ICT applications that can be high bandwidth, that can be low bandwidth, that can be text-based, that are able to help developing economies reach some of the goals they need and move to the next plateau. As they get more accessibility, as they get more of an infrastructure, they can move to higher applications, but even the entry-level applications are significant and beneficial. Well, at this meeting, presumably, you're preaching at least partly to the converted. Do you mm -hmm. think the wider development com community understands how integral uh, ICTs are to really all of their programs? I think they do. I think sometimes there isn't a good conception on the how they can be helpful. So the problem is, how do we move from a top line of ICT as an important element of sustainable development to how can ICT help me develop sustainably? And it's that transition and translation in which I think we have to figure out how to better involve the private sector into this conversation because we're the ones with the experience curve on the breadth of the applications. And that doesn't include just large multinational, it also includes innovative SMEs within countries. And we have to figure out how this forum develops and how you blend youth who are often individual entrepreneurs and innovators into this mix as well. So it's looking at that entire ecosystem and trying to figure out how to best blend it together. Well, Mr. Aldef of the uh, International Chamber of Commerce, we thank you for your time today. Thank you very much.